Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Garden Review. I'm here. I'm here to bring you another video about strawberries this time again. And it just so happens to be that way. Uh, two unrelated things, uh, both related to strawberries in a row that I have to do. But what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to sow strawberry seeds. And I have two types of strawberries here that are alpine strawberries actually. Um, they're from Baker, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. Uh, I missed getting some plugs from the strawberry store, strawberry seed store, um, which sells actually alpine strawberry plugs. And so I was also a bit late in saving seeds. The semester this, uh, you know, this last semester got to me in terms of workload, so I really didn't have much time. So what I have here is I have white sole alpine strawberries. These are little white strawberries, and these are, At I think, Attila um, strawberries. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and they're red alpine strawberries. Now, alpine strawberries are basically... They're basically wild strawberries. Um, I know they grow in parts of, I'm pretty sure they grow in parts of Europe. I think maybe the Rockies, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then these alpine, these wild strawberries are then bred out a little bit um, for gourmet purposes. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, germinate some of these because strawberries are not very easy to grow. Uh, they're, they're pretty picky. Um, and it's, I'd almost say it's not worth it, but I like a challenge and I've really wanted to successfully grow them from seed once. And the last time I tried, I was too young to really do it very well. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do so. Now I would recommend, first of all, I got this like hex pack or whatever, not because I think the hexagons are very good. I saw on the side, it claims that the hex, the hexagonal, hex, however you pronounce it, the hex, hexagonal, uh, cells are like really good for plant growth and stuff. I don't think there's any difference. Uh, the only reason I like it is because the cells are smaller and these plants are smaller so they'll get root bound a little faster so I can transplant them a little faster. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is I have the seed starting mix here. Well, it's not seed starting mix, it's pro mix. But really what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a type of mix that's light and fluffy and retains water well and doesn't you know, get too clumpy or uh, stick together too much. Strawberry seeds take a long time to germinate and they're really tiny when they do. So what's going to happen is if you use uh, you know, a clumpy seed start, you know, or a clumpy mix to start the seeds, like soil from out in your garden, what's going to probably happen is they're going to rot. And that's not good, um, obviously. You don't want your seeds rotting or your little seedlings rotting. So I'm gonna fill this whole little thing up with some of this mix. I'm using Pro Mix just because that's what I have and I have some left over, but I don't think there's really much, you know, use whatever. Just make sure it has some amount of nutrients in it, not too many. You know, these, you don't want to burn your little seedlings, but I would say just get some, some, some soil that's light, has nutrients in it, and doesn't have too much big debris in it. This actually does have some big debris in it, but uh, it's not too much. All right, so now that you have your seed starting mix ready in the trays here, Hope that's not too dark. Yeah, the lights been going down, so I'm trying to make sure it's not too dark. But I'll hold it here. What you're gonna want to start to do is start poking some little holes in here. Not very deep at all. Just maybe a quarter inch deep. Big enough so that there's just a little hole there. I'm gonna do this on all of these. Just so there's a little place to pop the seeds in, because I'm sure you've seen a strawberry, the seeds on them are not very large. Um, and again, they also take forever to germinate, and they're tiny little seedlings when they do, because they're coming from tiny little seeds. So, you're going to want... Ooh, there's some big chunks in here. You're going to want to make sure that you don't bury them too deep, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just going to do a little holes here. And I'll show you when I'm done here what it looks like. All right, so what I'm gonna do next here is you can see I have the strawberry packet here. Ooh, I didn't want to spill those. And what I'm gonna do is, because these seeds are so small and hard to work with, I'm actually gonna dump them into something that's a little larger so that I can handle them better. You can see they're right there. Not very many seeds, there's probably about 100 there. It's going to be picking, you know, little pinches up. 
I'm putting them in. Alright, so I've done the same thing with the white soul strawberries. As you can see, now the entire tray is planted out with little strawberry seeds. Once again, I want to reiterate, you do not want these to be buried too deeply and you want the soil to be very loose because these seeds are going to have a very hard time coming up as it is. It's probably going to take in the ballpark of a month or so for them to, ger them to germinate anyway. So you want to give them as good of a shot as possible. Again, I'm using a light fluffy mix. This happens to be pro mix, just so happens to be what I have. I honestly actually worry that there's too much, too many nutrients in it, but it's what I have and it's what I'm going to go with. I have the Atila right there, the Atila, and then the uh, White Soul right there. And I'm going to give them a gentle, gentle, gentle watering with a shower shower watering can like this. Or I, I honestly think it's better just to do like a mist or something. I'm going to see how this goes though first. Looks like this is just, oh, looks like this might be a little too intense. But I'm just going to do this. Give a little shake. Give them light watering like I just did. Do not water them too hard because they will they will splatter everywhere. And these seeds are so tiny that they're gonna go from cell to cell. I'm sure some of them uh, did do that, uh, but give them a light watering like I just did, maybe a little li lighter than that. I would again recommend like a spray bottle, but I don't have one of those on hand at the moment. Actually, I got seeds over here. Yeah. Throw them over there so they don't get wet. But strawberries are very picky. They're going to take a while to germinate. Um, so you're gonna have to wait. Do you want to keep them when they are waiting for germination? They're going to want it to be somewhere warm, obviously. Um, you don't want them boiling hot, but you want them somewhere that's probably around 80 degrees, and I know a perfect place for that. That shed right there. They're not going to be in direct sun, but they'll in there. It's going to be in the 70s, 80s, maybe getting close to 90 this week. So it should be uh, warm enough for that. So, and then I'm going to get this uh, greenhouse thing, this greenhouse dome. I'm going to put it over. Like that. I'm going to go bring it into the shed. And we're gonna wait. Yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of a disaster in here. I got a lot of seeds and stuff and just general mess that needs to be cleaned up. Now that the spring rush, rush is underway and starting to get a little bit wrapped up. But these are gonna be right here. You can see they're, they're set right there. Uh, this is a south-facing window, but the sun angle is too high to get much to get very far in here. And uh, this is going to be out of the way of the, of the window anyway. So these aren't going to be getting direct sunlight in the first place, but it does get warm in here. So that's the big thing. We're going to be uh, highs in the 80s, upper 80s, the low 90s this week. So it's going to be good. And I mean, it's it's now late May in Illinois. It's not going to get cold again. So these things will have warmth. They have the right soil conditions uh, to germinate. You're going to have to keep them moist consistently but not too moist because if you keep them too moist then they'll start rotting and it's just a bad time all right I know this is a bit of an abrupt ending but my microphone cut off uh, when I was outside there so I kind of had to cut it short here but I hope you had a good time hope you learned something this is a project I wanted to do for a while so I'm excited to get it underway I'll show you more updates uh, of these plants when they germinate, if they germinate, and I'll show you the process to which I go of growing them. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like or subscribe if you found it informative, and I guess I'll see you later.